Why don't we know how much oil is coming out of the deep water horizon well? That's a very specific question. Well, it's actually a very good question. Uh, why don't we know to better accuracy how much is, how much is coming out? Uh, a, a number of reasons. It's very hard to make measurements down there. You can't make direct flow measurements. It's coming out of multiple places. It's a mixture of oil and water and gas that's coming out. It's very hard to see down there. Of course, there's no natural light at 5,000 feet, so you've got to provide the light. Any of you who have driven in the fog know when you shine a bright light into a particle-laden medium, most of it bounces back in your face. Uh, on the surface, very difficult to estimate from the rate of expansion of the plume uh, how much oil has actually come out for a number of reasons. Uh, number one, the plume is not uniform. It's not uniform in the fraction of the water that's covered. It's not uniform in the thickness of the oil. You can make some estimates based on uh, the different uh, color uh, of the oil on the surface, but it's a challenge. There are big uncertainties. In addition, you have to know how fast it's evaporating if uh, you want to go from plume uh, expansion rate to an estimate of the actual emission rate at the source. And evaporation is highly dependent on atmospheric conditions, on sea surface conditions, which can vary a lot even over the size of the plume. When you put all those uncertainties together, you, you end up with this uh, problematic proposition that we really do not know uh, whether it's actually 5,000 barrels a day or 10,000 or 2,000. Uh, the one thing we do know is that it could be more if it gets worse down there. Uh, the maximum flow rate uh, is considerably higher. And so it's very important to get this thing plugged rather than uh, allowing it to make itself worse or to make a misstep in our efforts to plug it that actually cause it to get worse. It's an immense challenge and the federal government uh, working with uh, all of the oil companies who realize it's now all of their problem. Uh, are struggling with this very energetically. Steve Chu and a, and a brain trust of out-of-the-box thinkers were just down there uh, in, uh, in Houston uh, yesterday uh, working uh, with the oil companies to try to think of uh, additional ways uh, to get this thing blocked.